When you walk into an ER with chest pain, there is a protocol and it usually looks like this. Step number one, triage. Within minutes, a nurse checks your vital signs like heart rate and blood pressure and listens carefully to how you describe your pain. Chest pain is never ignored, but how urgent depends on what they see right away and what they hear. As a triage nurse, when a patient comes through our door, we ask them what their chief complaint. If it's a chest pain, we assess that person immediately. We listen to the symptoms, he's getting vital signs. Step two, we get him an EKG within 10 minutes. The EKG looks at the heart's electrical activity. If it shows a STEMI, ST elevation myocardial infarction, that's a classic heart attack. You're rushed straight to the cath lab. Cath lab is where your artery is unclogged. A normal EKG does not rule out a heart attack. So you could be having a heart attack, but the EKG looks normal. That's where step three comes in. Blood work, especially a test called troponin. Troponin rises over time when heart muscle is injured. Early on, it can be normal, even if a heart attack is happening. That's why repeat testing matters. Chest pain that continues to worsen or comes back should trigger reassessment. And the gurneys in that emergency room may be all filled up. In that case, the EKG is already ordered, but it shows that it's a normal EKG the triage nurse will place the patient still in the waiting room area, but he or she moves up in the priority list, the severity list. That triggers the ER nurses or doctors, who's ever manning the triage area, to reassess the patient regularly. This is what happens a lot, is when patients are waiting for hours and we have a patient that may have not even waited an hour to take them back, they may say, why is this person going back? And that's the reason. When we triage a patient, we look at their severity. It's important to understand for other patients who may have an abdominal pain that can wait because we want to treat the heart attack first. If your pain changes while you're waiting in the ER, be the squeaky wheel. Ask the triage nurse, can my heart labs be repeated? Can my EKG be repeated? This isn't about blame. ERs get overwhelmed, they get quite busy. Heart Heart attacks don't always look traumatic and non-STEMIs, the quiet heart attacks, the normal EKG are easy to miss early. Understanding the process can literally save your life and this is the purpose for this video. Thank you for watching.